All right, Sunday morning. Rode the road bike 11 miles yesterday and went to the dirt bike track with my kids. So I'm a little bit tired. I don't feel like riding, but got new parts. Got the Acolyte eight speed cassette to match the Acolyte shifter and derailleur. And I think it's gonna take out this rattle that I have. I also finally decided I'm gonna change the stock GT grips to these Rogue ODI Rogues. So just a quick video on that update and maybe a quick ride at the end to see if it handled the rattle. So I think I figured out where all that rattling noise was. This cassette is all single, they're all split. They're not like a, an assembly, if you will, with all the little plastic spacers in between. This cassette was all one piece minus that eighth gear. So there's no, that would be rattling like crazy on that old cassette, there's no rattling now. So I'm thinking, plus that black looks so much better than that, that, that silver. It just looks tinny and crappy. You know, they're worn a little bit too, but I'm anxious to see if that handled the rattle. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it with one hand, but even just the drop test, much quieter. So the cassette's installed. My inspector came out to check. She says it's okay. What do you think, him? Cassette's installed, and there is no rattling. Just some panting. No rattling anymore. And the grips are installed. Pretty easy install with the proper tools. Again, I go back to this Ozark Trail bike tool kit. It has literally everything you need. But I'm gonna go take it for a test ride. All right, so test ride with the new cassette. I will insert the tooth size of this cassette. I think it's 12 to 42, and the stock one's like 11 to 36 or something. So one of my early on complaints riding trails with this bike was I didn't have a low, a low enough gear. Now I certainly do. The first gear in this thing is you really gotta pedal to get it moving, so that's great, that should help. And I thought that the cassette was the reason that this bike wouldn't stay in seventh gear, but that's correct. Now it'll shift into seventh, there's seventh. It's not jumping out. There's eight. So, solved a couple issues. I'm not sure what that noise is back there. I set the bike down for a minute on the derailleur wasn't smart so I probably have to adjust it a little bit but I'm just anxious to get this thing in the roots and see if we have any rattle noise. Well should get some rattle now if we're gonna have it. One thing this reminds me of modification wise on this bike I need a dropper post. Oh man no rattle at all. Crunchy. The only thing now with that cassette not rattling. Oh yeah. I'm gonna hear other noise. A lot 
quieter. Heck yeah. I'd say we solved it. Oh yeah. That fork is crunchy. Which I can bottom that thing out without even jumping it. That cassette handled the rattle. It would be rattling like crazy with that old cassette. Again, that's the Acolyte 8 speed. And these grips, I don't know, they definitely grip. My hand grips them a lot better. And they seem to be a soft compound, but jury's still out on whether or not I like the grips. ODI Rogue, but the Acolyte 8 speed cassette, definitely a win for the volume, and it got me a lower gear. So, should be good, but we're gonna keep riding. I just figured I'd do this quick test ride video because I install parts and at the end of the video there's no ride to prove if it did or didn't help. So I figured I'd throw the parts on and go for a quick ride. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.